Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to make a video today for people owning uh, the Femi Pam or the Femi Pam 2 or the Osmo Pocket or the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 because they're all really, really um, similar cameras with similar form factors, almost identical. And uh, some people, because I've joined a few different uh, DJI groups on Facebook, are looking for uh, ways to connect um, accessories and I just wanted to share what I have found has been working for me and that's really really simple but nevertheless I'm going to show it just using one of these things called an L bracket so these are 10 15 20 bucks they're not expensive pieces of gear and uh, what they're going to do is I've used one of these for years with my uh, camcorder the Canon Vixia HF R800 because it doesn't have any cold shoes uh, but if you want to accessorize from one of these then what you can do is as follows. So basically just you, it comes with, if you don't own one of these, it's got a little quarter inch screw here at the bottom. It's got a little hand grip here. And you can see on the side, it's got a cold shoe here and it's got a cold shoe here. So two accessory shoes. And of course, if you have one accessory shoe, you can use a one to three cold shoe adapter. And that way you have four accessory shoes. So basically the reason this works well and just one uh, caution if you will is I've previously tried mounting you know you have these kind of horizontal brackets so I've done a rig like this where I have an external microphone to uh, the right of the pocket gimbal and that has caused problems because the problem with the uh, Femi Pam 2 I have is I find the monitor here is actually not reliable I'll be looking at the Femi like this with an external microphone. I won't be able to see the microphone. It looks like it's out of frame. Then you shoot a bunch of footage, you go home, you take out the memory card, look at it at your computer, and all you can see is microphone foam and the footage is unusable. Really, really frustrating. So that's a problem with the Femi Pam 2. I don't know if it's also the case with the DJI Osmo, it might be a little bit more reliable, but um, I found that for whatever reason, just the, using the L bracket, I guess the microphone is far off enough to the side that it's just out of the frame. So here's what I do just to be on the safe side. I typically mount my Femi all the way to the side. So I'm going to do that now uh, and I'm going to just screw it in. So make sure everything is obviously nice and firm. And there you go. So now you have a the Femi's on the L bracket. Hold it like this. It's stabilized and you're shooting with a gimbal. So this is actually a really, really lightweight and easy way to shoot footage uh, that's going to have an external microphone, an external like, and it's going to be gimbal stabilized. So you've got a lot going on in this very, very small package. So in terms of accessories, I'm just going to put on a really basic uh, camera light from Ulanzi. And I'm just going to screw that now into the, so typically I do the light at the top and just screw down and I do the microphone at the side. So now we've got just a light setup. So I'm actually gonna turn on the Femi. So you can see now it's finding its home. And now I'm looking at the Femi and I'm gonna turn on the light now too. And now I've got a light. So it's really easy, it's really, you know, and you can see that the camera is finding home as I move it around. And I can adjust, this one has an alternating light. It's got a few different light settings. Turn off the light. So that's a really, in my opinion, easy rig. It's almost as easy as just holding the uh, Femi, but now I've got a uh, light to use as well. So that really assists because the low light performance on these is not good. Um, and now I'm gonna just put on a really small microphone and I'm gonna use the second cold shoe for that purpose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw into the second shoe fitting done now i think this is probably pretty safe uh in terms of not crossing the frame line it's a decent bit off to the side you could do it the other way you could have it up here or you could as i said use a three to one cold shoe uh you could do something like use one of those kind of uh um you know uh i don't even know the name for them the the kind of brackets that come off to the side they're probably called like l brackets and then what all you need to do is take the um microphone and attach it to the 3.5 and now i'm getting a mic connected message so just 
just to make sure that it's not, you know, it's actually working. I'd probably use a little bit of an extension or whatever. Uh, but there you go, and it's working. So now I've got my external microphone. I've got the mic connected message. I'm gonna turn on my light now. And now I've got a rig with a microphone, a light, and the Femi. And if you just see what it looks like from the back, there you go. The monitor is facing towards me. Um, I can turn on the light. You can see the difference it makes. Now the light's on and I've got the um, microphone is picking up audio. And if I pull out the microphone, I'm gonna get a mic disconnected message. So that's basically the L bracket rig. This works really, really nicely for uh, the uh, Femi Pam 2, which is what I'm recording with. And given, given that the Osmo is essentially uh, the exact same camera, or rather more honestly, the Femi is a copy of the Osmo, um, I, I'm sure that this will work for the Osmo Pocket and Pocket 2 also. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos. More are coming soon.